name is Jenny Devonshire and welcome to this Pilates video. Today we will be doing a bit of the whole body because in Pilates we like to be balanced so we want to strengthen everything to create a nice strong posture so that we look and feel better. First up we're going to do some roll downs so mobilise through our spine. Setting up we're going to go feet hip distance apart thinking like your hip bones rather than the outer edges and have a little look down just check your toes or your feet haven't turned out or turned inwards we want them nice and straight and then standing up really tall imagine there's like a string pulling you up we'll just do a couple of little shoulder rolls just to open up the chest a little bit and then standing tall chin parallel to the floor coming to your breath to nice deep breaths in through your nose and exhale through pursed lips, so blowing out a row of candles. Nice deep breaths in through the nose. And a nice full exhalation. So nice deep diaphragmatic breathing. On your exhale, we're going to think about drawing up pelvic floor. So imagine trying to stop yourself going to the toilet, trying to stop yourself passing wind. Only about 20 to 30%. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, a little lift. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, a little lift. And transverse is your deepest layer of stomach muscles. So you can bring your fingers between your hip bones and just feel those muscles gently switching on on your exhale. Inhale, let you can let it all go. Exhale, a little engagement. Find those stabilizing muscles. Inhale, let them go. Bringing your arms by your sides, ready to roll down. Inhale, chin to chest, engaging pelvic floor and transverse, scooping out your stomach muscles. We roll down bone by bone. You can bend your knees, shifting your weight slightly forward so your bum is directly over your heels. And we're just going to hold it here for a few breaths, breathing in and out, relaxing your head, relaxing your shoulders. And then on your exhale, Pressing down through your feet, restacking your spine, vertebra by vertebra. Trying to get as much movement through your spine as you can. Your head's going to come up last. And again, inhale, chin to chest. As we exhale, we roll down. Finding your stiff points. We all have different parts. We want to get as much movement as we can. Inhale at the bottom. This time coming straight up on your exhale. Again, slowly, slowly, all the way up. And we're going to come into one more of those. Again, inhale, chin to chest. As we exhale, we scoop out, roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Drawing in those deep, stabilizing muscles, nice and gently as we come down. And then again, we're going to roll back up. Restack nice and slowly. No rushing, guys. Until we come to stand tall. Excellent job. So we're going to come into some standing clamshells now, working on a little bit of balance. I love doing these kind of exercises standing up because it has to make the stabilizing muscle, the, the standing leg work harder than when we do this lying down. So we're going to bend both knees as much as you can. You're going to float one foot. Bending this leg, it stays bent. You're going to open without letting the hips lift. Exhale, open, inhale, down. Exhale, open and down. So bending into your standing leg as much as you can. Good, find your balance. And then knees come to touch. So again, we're working with our wobbles, finding balance is so important. Strengthening the ankle and the hip. Let's go for 10 more of these if you can, 10. Squeeze your bum as you lift. Good, nice. Stomach muscles engaged slightly. Five more. Still bending into your standing leg. not quite over we're gonna hold it circle for ten nine eight nice small circles five four three two one not let over yet another ten the other way eight <laughs> nice bend a little lower good for five four three two and relax probably want to bend and stretch your standing leg oh releasing off that glute and then we're going for the other side, releasing off. Ooh, my balance has gone there. 
Some days we have it, some days we don't. Good, right, same on the other side. Bending both knees, knees are touching, we float the foot, hips level, exhale out, inhale, to knees touch, <laughs> exhale and down. Pre bringing the knees together without arching our lower back. If you go a little bit lower with that standing leg, squeeze that glute if you take the leg out. 10 more of these, then you know what's coming. It's always worse, second side you know what's happening. Maybe that's better. Five more. Good. And then we hold circle, little circles, make it controlled. No rushing. And then the other way, 10. Find your balance. Seven, five, four, three, two, oh, wow, so much worse than that second side, right? So we're going to stretch both of them. I'm going to look at the floor this time to help me with my balance rather than trying to look at you. Boop. Still doesn't help. And the other side. Woo. Gosh, I'm going to have to hold on. Call myself a Pilates instructor. Right, come into your mat. We're going to come to lie down on our backs. Lying flat. So lying on your back, feet and knees hip distance apart, looking directly to your ceiling. To start tilting your pelvis backward and forward, squashing your lower back down so you're coming into a posterior tilt and then sticking your bum out anterior tilt so you've got more of a curve. Just making it as big as you can control. Just no pain, no pinching or pain. And then coming to that middle point. Hip bones and pubic bone are level, so your neutral will depend on, well, your gap underneath your back will depend on your pelvis and your spine. We're gonna come into some lateral tilts. You're gonna hike one hip towards you and then hike the other. Knees stay where they are, it's just from the hip. So I don't know if I can really show you like this, but I'll try. So imagine you're shortening one, shortening the other. That does it, that kind of movement, but lying on your back. Little hikes, so staying neutral, just tilt. Little pelvic tilts, basically. Tilting side to side. One side might be a bit more restricted to than the other. And then we're gonna put those movements together. We're gonna do little circles, knees still again, circling from the pelvis. Imagine you're like doing a little maybe a little sexy dance or maybe you're just doing a hula hoop but slowly so it definitely wouldn't stay up and then the other way circling around squashing it arching squash and arch and then come to the middle point coming back to our neutral we're going to find our pelvic floor and transverse this again so nice deep breath in through the nose exhale a little engagement inhale release Exhale, engage. And we're going to come into some leg marches. You're going to inhale, right leg to tabletop. Exhale, flex the foot and lower it without losing your neutral. Inhale, back to tabletop. Exhale, to replace. Same thing on the left. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, rebend and replace. Just marching your legs it's nice and slowly. As you take the leg away, make sure you're not arching your lower back anymore. So inhale, tabletop. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, replace. If you're working with injuries or the next exercises don't feel right, just stay with this one. This is great to stay here. Option to bring one leg into tabletop. Option two, inhale one leg to tabletop. Exhale the other joint, it's staying in neutral. Inhale, replace. Exhale to return. Same on the other side. Inhale one leg. Exhale the other without losing this position. Replace and return. You can stay with that one. Otherwise, we're going to bring both legs to tabletop. Again, staying in neutral. Maybe bring one hand to your lower back just to make sure you're not arching anymore. As you exhale, hover one foot towards the floor. Abs engaged. Inhale in. And change. We want to keep the lower abdominal, well, keep all the abdominals pulled in. Lower ribs stay pulled in. If you feel like you know what's going on here, bring your backs of your hands to the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down. Use your exhale. Inhale in. If you want to, you can straighten your leg as you lower it. Exhale away. Again, making sure you're not losing this position. 
Use your breath to help you. Again, so the other knee is staying directly above the hip as you do so. Exit away, inhale in. Good. And if you want to bring the arms in as well, bring your arms up. As you take the leg away, without letting these ribs pull out or flare, you're going to take the leg away. All of this is a neutral. We're not making any more of an arch. Use your breath to control it. Just do a few more of these. One more on the left. And then we're going to bring the arms to the side. Extend the left leg, keep it strong. Bring the right knee to your chest slightly to the side. Squeeze it in and just circle your ankle nice and slowly. And circle it the other way. And then taking your hand over onto the knee, take a gentle supine twist, turning your head over your right shoulder without pulling on the knee, just as far as feels comfortable. And back to centre. Squeeze it in for one, and then extend for that nice release, changing side, slightly to the side again. Circling the ankle, work it through those clicks, always get clicks on this one. And then circle the other one. And then take a little twist. And then back to centre, squeezing it in and extend. We're going to come into ab prep. So placing your feet flat, staying in neutral. Interlace your hands behind your head. Relaxing your head into your hands. You're going to inhale a little head nod. Exhale, flexing up as high as you can go without losing your neutral. Inhale, pause. Exhale, back down. Inhale, just tucking your chin slightly. Exhale, flex. Inhale, pause. Exhale, back down. So it's a four breath count. So just making sure you're not squashing your lower back down. Good, nice and controlled. Inhale, head nod. Exhale, flex it up. Inhale, pause. Exhale, back down. Try to really relax your head into your hands. Try to stop your neck doing the job. I know mine wants to get involved. Inhale, head nod, exhale, flex. Inhale, pause, exhale, back down. Really challenging exercise. I always really struggle with this one. On the next one, you're going to stay at the top. As you exhale, twist to your left without letting your pelvis move. Inhale to centre. Exhale to your right. Inhale to centre. Exhale to your left. Back to centre. Again, all in neutral. Keep your pelvis still. Keep your knees still. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you're going to lift the legs. So exhale, lift. Again, stay in neutral. Keep your pelvis still. Back down. Exhale, lift. And down. Nice and slowly. Exhale, twist. And down. Stomach muscles stay drawn in. So again, it doesn't have to be a big movement. Use your breath to help you. Good. One more each side. Last one. Oh, and come down. Well done. We're going to come into some hip rolls. So you have heels so you can just about touch them, maybe a little bit further away. Stay, starting in neutral. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, scooping out your stomach muscles, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale at the top. Then try to drop from your breastbone first, rolling down upper back, middle back, lower back, scooping out through your imprint to neutral. Inhale to prepare. Ex engage pelvic floor, scooping out, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae. So you're on your shoulder blades, we're not trying to lift up super high. Inhale at the top and exhale, roll back down. So just noticing if you're rolling out on your feet, so maybe your toes are lifting, or maybe you're rolling inwards. Try to really press down through your whole foot. And knees stay in that nice alignment with your hip bones and your feet. Some of you, your feet might have turned out, so you might want to have a little check. It's amazing like how what you think is going on with your body really isn't. Variations to play around with. Exhale, rolling up. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, rolling down, keeping your heels lifted. Inhale, replace your heels. Exhale, roll up. Still scooping up vertebrae by vertebrae. 
Inhale, lifting heels. Exhale, rolling back down. And variation number two. We can exhale, roll up. Inhale, lifting hands overhead, lifting heels maybe as well. Exhale, slowly try to find your upper back, middle back, or lower back, all the way through your imprint to neutral. And again, scoop and roll. Inhale, lift. Exhale, rolling back down. So we're articulating through the spine, trying to get as much movement as you can. Slowly, slowly, we're not rushing these reps. Coming all the way down. And then you're gonna come back up again, but we're gonna hold it. So option one is to inhale, lift one heel, exhale to replace. Inhale, lift the other heel, exhale, replace. We're keeping our body really still here. Option two, we're gonna inhale, leg to tabletop. Exhale, flex the foot, lower the leg, keep your pelvis really still. Inhale, back to tabletop. Exhale, replace the foot. Inhale, left hip lifts without that hip dropping. Exhale, flex and lower. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, to return. We wanna keep this pelvis nice and still. If you need to stay with heel lifts, stay with heel lifts. We're not rushing these reps. Just slowly working through. Squeezing the opposing or opposite glute to keep the pelvis still. All about control in Pilates. One more on the left. And take another inhale. And then exhale, scooping out again, dropping upper back, middle back, lower back, and relax. Bringing your knees into your chest, toes together. You can just do some little circles with the knees. And then we'll circle the other way. And then coming to lie on your side. Either side, we're going to do both. And we're going to make a little pillow with the arm. Bring your knees to your chest and we're squeezing our knees together, lifting out from your waist. We're going to inhale, open our chest to the ceiling. Exhale, draw the hand back down, open book. Inhale, open, trying to rotate the rib cage. Exhale, back down. So just watch you're not rolling back with the pelvis. We want to keep this still. We just open, exhale, bring it back in. If you feel more comfortable, you might want to put a pillow between your knees if your hips feel really thrown off by being in this position. Inhale, open. Exhale, return. So engaging pelvic floor and transversus. Try and twist a little bit further on each one. Last one. And then we're going to bring our feet in line with our bum. Still lifting out the underside of your waist. You're going to come into clamshells. You're going to open the top knee, squeezing your bum at the top, bring it back down. Exhale, we open, hold it for a couple of seconds, bring it back down. If you prefer, you can float the lower leg of the bottom leg. <laughs> Exhale, open, squeeze, and down. Without letting your pelvis roll backwards, so keeping this all pulled in, just from the hips, squeezing at the top. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, lift. And open, and down. Pulling in your stomach muscles, making sure you're not collapsing letting your lower waist fall down. Good, exhale, open, and down. Open, and down. We have got another 15 seconds, but we're gonna hold, isometric hold. How much can you contract that glute here? Squeeze, 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 hold, hold, hold. 10 seconds. Five. And relax. But this time we're going to shift your thighs so your thighs are in line with your bum. Knees are still bent. We're going to do the same thing here, but we're going to get more into that glute maximus, that bigger glute. So exhale, open. Again, lift up here and down. Thighs in line with your body. You won't be able to open the leg as far. You should really feel that big bit of your bum really engaging as you lift the leg. Exhale, open and lower. Exhale, open and lower. See how much you can contract at the top. Well done. <laughs> Back 
to back clamshells for you. 30 seconds. Exhale, open. Squeeze at the top. Well done. Ready to hold it. Okay, hold. 15 seconds, squeeze. Can you hold it a little bit higher? Last 10. Five. Oh, relax. I think you deserve a little glute stretch. Lying on your back, crossing your ankle over the knee. Draw that leg away. Keep your pelvis level. Then you can bring the leg in. And just hold that for a few little breaths, releasing. And then release. Coming on to your other side. Ready for that open book first. So, knees to your chest, making a pillow, lifting out. Inhale, open, expand. Exhale, pull it back down. Inhale, open, shoulder stays pulled in rather than just opening the shoulder. We're rotating the ribcage. Exhale, back in. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Thinking about rotating from the ribcage, so it's your thoracic spine, that middle portion of your back. Inhale, open. Eye line follows hand. Gluing your knees together. Do a few more of those. We know what's coming. Lovely clamshell. And clamshells. Feet in line with your bum. Again, lifting up from your underside of your waist. If you went for the hover, then doing the hover again. Exhale, open and down. Exhale, hover, abs pulled in. Exhale, squeeze at the top just for that moment, get that extra contraction. And down. So knees are bent, feet in line with your bum. Still that little lift here. Ribs pulled in. Everything's working. Nothing's flopping down. Exhale through past lips still. Engage pelvic floor and transversus. Good. And we hold and squeeze, 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 squeeze that bum. Hard as you can. Last 10 seconds. Five. Ooh, and relax. Right, coming into the other variation. Thighs in line this time. Glute maximus. Exhale, open and down. Still lifting here. We're just contracting that big, big bum muscle as you open. Exhale, open and down. Squeeze and down. Contracting your glute as much as you can. Good. Give your bum a rest after this. Thirty seconds. Ready for that little hold? Okay, let's go. Squeeze, hold, breathe. No holding of breath. Just try and contract your glute harder. Ten seconds. Five. Oh, and relax, right line on your back. Crossing your left, or whichever leg you are working, cross that ankle over and then you can bring the leg in. And release. Just enjoy the stretch. And then come into line in front. You're going to bring your fingers in line with your ears, slightly outside your mat. Stomach muscles in, try to pull your belly button off the mat, legs slightly apart. You're going to inhale, roll the shoulders back. Imagine you're trying to pull your hands back. Nothing actually moves, but you can feel that activation. Exhale, rolling up. Stomach muscles still drawn in. Inhale, pause. 
Exhale back down. We only want to feel this to the bottom of your shoulder blades, not in your lower back. Inhale, shoulders. Exhale, rolling up, stomach muscles pulled in. Inhale, pause. Exhale, back down. Inhale, shoulders. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, pause. Exhale, back down. Inhale, shoulders. Exhale up. Really work, focus on those postural muscles in your upper back. So they are trying to lift you up rather than like pressing too much into your forearms. Stomach muscles are in. We don't want to feel this in the lower back, remember. If you are, just pull your stomach muscles in harder and maybe just don't lift up as high. It's not about the height, it's about finding the right muscles. And we're articulating again through the spine, keeping the length through the back of your neck at the top. Option to keep a hover. If it's too much, you can keep your forehead down on the mat and just reach your arms and squeeze. Otherwise, we're going to hold this hover, pulling in your abs. Reach your arms by your ears. Exhale, squeeze elbows to the side of your body. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Squeeze. Find those little muscles. Imagine you're doing like a lap pull down or doing a pull up even. I can't do a pull up, but maybe you can. <laughs> Assisted. Three more. Reach and squeeze. Reach, squeeze. Last one. And then pressing into a shell stretch. So imagine you've got a ball on your lap and you're rounding over it. Still engaging your stomach muscles. And then rolling up. Drop your bum to one side and come to lie on your back. So we're going to finish off with a little trio of ab exercises. So we're going to bring your legs in the air. If you've got tighter hamstrings, bend your knees here. We want your knees directly over your hips, not out here if your knees legs are bent. Interlace your hands behind your head, flexing your head and shoulders up. We're going to lower one leg for a count of four. So lower two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Exhale, lower two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. If it's too much, you can bend your knee. Or just don't lower the leg as far, but still go for that four count. Exhale, lower two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Try to flex up a bit higher. Stomach muscles pulled in. And lower two, three, four. Lift two, three, four. Lower two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. Keep working like that nice and slowly. No rushing the leg coming up. Making sure you're not feeling it in your lower back. Flex up a bit higher. One more on each leg. Lower two, three, four. Lift two, three, four. Lower two, three, four. And lift two, three, four. And just hug your knees in. Have a little rock from side to side. Have a little rest. Then we're going to come into the same position, but this time you're going to try and lift your toes to the ceiling for a count of four and lower for a count of four. So even if you don't move, just try and hold that contraction of your lower abdominals for that four count up and four count down. So imagine you're lifting an elevator, or a lift I should say, not an elevator. In, up for four, and then it goes down for a count of four. So legs in the air again, head and shoulders up. We're going to lift two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Lift, two, three, four. Try to get your tailbone off. Lower, two, three, four. So we're controlling the lift and we're controlling the lower. Lift, two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Lift, try to get your toes to the ceiling. I know it hurts. Lift, two, three, four. And lower, two, three, four. Four more. And three left, lift two, three, four, and lower two, three, four, lift two, three, four, and lower, last one, and relax, just again hug your knees into your chest, oh, we'll take a little full body stretch, reaching your fingers as far away from your toes as you can, I'm afraid I haven't forgotten the last one though. We're going to come into a same position, but this time, legs are in the air. Bring your left hand behind your head. Reach your right arm past your left leg. 
So we're just going to lower the right leg here. Exhale, lower your right leg. Inhale, bring it up. You don't have to go as far. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep trying to reach past this left leg. Use your exhale. Slowly. Without holding on, I know the cheat. We've got five more. Five. Reach a bit further. Two left. Can go a bit further. Last one. And you can come down for a moment. Before we got the other side, can't finish up, it's lopsided. Legs in, legs up even, reach past the right leg, lower the left, exhale, lower, and down. Exhale, lower, and down, without hanging on, lower, and down. Or lift, I should say, lower. Got five more. Good. Last one. And relax. Again, you have a little rock. Reach your arms overhead. This time, try and reach your right hand further than your right, and your right foot further away from each other so you stretch the right side. And then do the same on the left. And then reach both. And then you can come up and you are done. Well done. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope your stomach muscles are feeling it. <laughs> um, so my name is Jenny Devonshire. Uh, if you would like some more of those videos, please like and subscribe and just share it on to anyone who might enjoy it. And I hope you will see you back here soon.